Heroin Diaries project started a few years ago. I was going through storage and I found uh, my diaries from 86 to 87. Actually, I have diaries all the way back to probably 80, 81. On that, that particular time of my life, I was um, in Motley Crue and we were touring the world and we were selling out stadiums and had our own jet. <clears throat> and life was, from the outside, absolutely perfect. But I knew I was a drug addict. I was still locked into the machine. And I was sort of communicating with my diary what it was like to be a heroin addict and be supposedly at the top of my dream. I really felt the story needed to come out because I'm in recovery now. It's been many years. Uh, last time I did uh, heroin was 1987, so it's been 20 years. project is started with diaries. What ended up happening was me and James Michael had, had sit down and started talking about how amazing it would be to write music that was inspired from this book. And we started writing some songs. I met T.J. Ashford through um, Alan Kovac, who had also discovered James Michael. And he sort of put the three of us together separately. And then my relationship with those two guys, we all sort of became this unit. We started working on this project. Well, I think that's it's interesting too that uh, the songs themselves, the whole subject matter is so serious. People would be shocked to know how much we laugh our way through this whole yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. And I think that's actually one of the only ways we can get through it. <coughs> Excuse me. The, the, the part for me that, you know, I had to struggle with was how did these people let me continue making them money? How did they continue, the record companies, not to stop the projects? How did the touring personnel not sit down and say, we got to stop this guy, he's going to die? I had to struggle with that, you know, with resentments and anger, and a lot of feelings came up around this, around the diaries. I mean, when, when you look at what uh, Nikki has been through, and when you read some of these diary entries, uh, you're just sitting there scratching your head going, I mean, how is this guy here today so clear-headed, so focused, and so capable of, of doing things that matter still? <laughs> 